Anyways, uh, we're going to get this going. I want to welcome our next comic to the stage. Are y'all ready? Are y'all ready? Y'all ready? All right, I want to welcome Leora Sophie to the stage. Okay. Um, so, I'm a nerd. Is anyone else a nerd? Yeah, it didn't used to sound like that when we were growing up. <laughs> but it does now, which is really awesome. Yeah, so, um, I have a, I have a bachelor's degree in mathematics. <laughs> yeah, that did not sound like that when we were growing up either, okay? But, um, yeah, it, it's, it's, that's cool. That's not usually the reaction I get. It's usually like, oh my god, I hated math class. And I'm standing there like, okay, you know, I know people who exercise like three times a week, but I don't go up to them and say, oh my god, I hated gym class. <laughs> Even though I totally did. <laughs> I just keep it to myself like a person with social skills. <laughs> because I have a math degree, right? Yeah, okay. So, um, anyway, let's, let's say we get through that part, and then uh, then they want to know what I do with my math degree. <laughs> I'm like, I do what everyone does with a bachelor's degree these days. I'm unemployed. Yay! I did have a job, okay? It's not that I did, I did, I had a job, but um, I had to quit. Because, uh, for two reasons. One, there was construction right outside our office that was like, it was like there was a woodpecker on crack inside my brain. So I had to, so that was one thing that, my, my boss was just like, what, I don't hear anything. I was like, okay, <laughs> I'm going home. Then, um, I also couldn't use the bathroom there. And um, let me just, you know, I'm not like, this isn't some like, oh my god, you know, porcelain doll, white girl shit, I can't use the bathroom here, it's too gross. I, we, our office was in a mall in the shittiest part of downtown Jerusalem, Israel. I'm Israeli, I didn't mention that. And, uh, <laughs> right? I saw somebody else with a suspiciously Hebrew name on that list, right? <laughs> it was like, okay. Um, and it was just the sh like the shittiest part of town, like the, whatever. I'm not gonna tell you what kind of people shop there because you know. And we didn't have a bathroom in our office, so we had to use the mall bathroom. And it was like every time I went in there, I would like be afraid of contaminating a crime scene. <laughs> <laughs> like, um, <clears throat> whose blood is that? <laughs> I don't know if I want to leave my DNA here. <laughs> so I complained to my boss, and I said, look, you know, this is really unbearable. And he's like, okay, well, we complained to the mall management, and the mall management said, all right, you know, we'll see what we can do. Um, here's what you're going to do. This is the person who's in charge. Uh, his, name, his name is whatever. He's the head of security. Every time you go and the bathroom's not clean, call this guy, and he'll clean it up. Okay. <laughs> So, what? Now, every time I go to the bathroom, I gotta stand up in the middle of my office and be like, call security, <laughs> I'm going to the bathroom. <laughs> I, was, uh, I was telling a friend of mine about this, and he said, you're up. The only time I've ever heard of having to call security when you go to the bathroom is when I was in jail. Am I on time? You, you got like uh, almost two minutes. Okay, two minutes. I'm gonna do that. Oh my God. Okay. Um, all right. So, uh, so as I mentioned before, I'm Israeli. I got here uh, in September. I came to um, live with my grandma. Okay, I totally came for the free rent, but I also, <laughs> I'm also here to like keep my grandma company. And um, I gotta say, I. After a couple months being here, I think I, I know what your problem is in the U.S. 
you know, I mean, besides a few fun things we have that you guys don't have, you know, like, like healthcare. <laughs> <laughs> And gun, gun, yeah. Oh, no, oh, right, you're sorry. Sorry, I'm just showing off. I'm just showing off now. Okay. Uh, no, really, I, you guys, you know what the problem is? You guys have too much stuff. Okay? And you don't know what to do with it. I mean, at some point, somebody was like, oh my god, what are we going to do with all this drinkable water? And then someone else said, I know, I know, we're going to fill the toilets all the way up to the brim. <laughs> but what, what are you going to do if there's a drought? A what? <laughs> you know what I mean? Okay. So, fine. All right, fine. But, you know, so Nana and I are in Stop and Shop the other day, and um, <clears throat> I said, well, okay, is there anything else we need? Yeah, we need toilet paper. Okay, what kind do you like? It's like, I like soft toilet paper. Okay, I'm like, okay. I'll be able to recognize which kind that is, right? There's like 18 fucking kinds of toilet paper. Do you know how many kinds of toilet paper there are? When I go to the store in Israel, there are two kinds of toilet paper. Soft and the kind I can afford. <laughs> which is really like an improved sort of sandpaper. Um, yeah, so... Um, oh, I want to try something out on you really quick, okay? My mom said that people who have never shopped in Israel are not going to find this funny, but I want to try it out on you. Can I take, can you, will you take that risk? It yeah. might not be funny. Yeah. Okay. So this is more about being a stop and shop. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm dead fucking serious, okay? First of all, Maybe you'll be able to gather a little bit from my reaction, what it's like to shop at a supermarket in Israel, okay? So first thing that happens, I walk into the store and I take a cart and, and I pushed it and it just went. <laughs> what the fuck is that? <laughs> I didn't have to wrestle with it. Back home, when I, if I want to turn down an aisle, and I do a fucking ab workout, every, like, <laughs> put on my fucking turn signal. <laughs> So then, you know, and we already talked about how many different options there are. I just get decision burnout out from every single element on my list. Like tomatoes. Well, which fucking kind of tomatoes? And, uh, like red tomatoes. Oh, no, there's like eight different kinds of red tomatoes. Oh, my God. Okay, so fine. Let's say, moving right along, right? Um, oh, and I was looking for, for um, peppermint bark, and I figured that would be in the candy aisle, right? Not only is there an entire aisle devoted to candy, the peppermint bark wasn't there because it was in the holiday candy aisle, which is four times the size of the regular candy aisle. <laughs> and it's holiday, because it's peppermint. <laughs> so we get all of our groceries, and we make it all, you have to you know, take a fucking people mover, because the store is so enormous. And then we get to the cash register, and I'm loading my stuff onto the conveyor belt, and um, the customer behind me is just like patiently waiting their turn. <laughs> and um, the cashier is ringing up my items, and, and then I'm, you know, sort of having, struggling with the credit card thing, because I don't know, you know, I'm just like handing it to them, they're like, what are you talking, like, you, you use the thing, okay, fine, you know, um, and then um, the cashier starts bagging my groceries for me. Okay, that was interesting. At this point, I was pretty confused. Sorry, right, I'm, I'm getting off. I'm getting off. One, one last thing, okay? I'm getting, and then, so the cashier hands me my bag of groceries and says, have a nice day, ma'am. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm just like, what the fuck just happened here? <laughs> Thank you very much. Good <laughs> morning, everybody.